I am finally back with another video. I'm sorry that I never got to do a Christmas video like I said I was going to. Um, honestly, December was just kind of a blur with all um, the craziness with Christmas shopping and food shopping and um, <laughs> making all my orders and shipping all the orders. Um, I don't know. It was just a complete blur. So I am glad that we survived and it um, all turned out and I got everything done. Um, but yeah, so happy new years and I hope you guys are having, um, a great week this week. Um, I thought I'd do a really quick video just kind of, um, showing some favorite things that I'm liking right now. And then, um, I also wanted to start off, um, my next few videos just with a few things that you guys don't know about me. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of fun to hear some things that you don't know about, um, about the people that you follow. So because, um, you know, I talk about decor and, you know, things that I love and clothes and different stuff like that. But, I don't know, kind of fun to to get to know um, people better. So, um, I wanted to share, I think, maybe five things. So, I don't know if I'll get five things out. But, um, the first thing is um, that I have, you guys are going to think this is kind of funny, but um, I have OCD with, a lot of things, but um, one of them that is just kind of weird is I don't like to see marks on my walls or doors or molding. So about once or twice a month, I'll take a magic eraser and scrub them off and then take like a wet washcloth afterwards and wipe it off because magic eraser kind of leaves like you can kind of see from an angle like it'll leave kind of like a smudge or just kind of like a residue like you can kind of see where you did it. Um, but yeah, I have no idea why. I like to do that. I think it just um, makes your house look new or your paint job look new or uh, probably just my control freak self um, trying to keep everything perfect. I don't, I don't know why. I'm just weird about that. Um, so that's one thing. Um, second thing is, you guys probably don't know, uh, I was married at the age of 19. I met my husband when I was 18. Um, and it was after he got back from Iraq. Uh, we met at church. Um, and I was totally just oblivious. And he kind of had to pursue me a little bit. Which, you know, is how it should be, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, we dated for six months. And then got married six months later. And yeah, it's just been pretty much happily ever after ever since. So he's just my best friend and I love him so much. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, what else you guys don't know about me? Um, oh, it's just kind of a weird thing too. Uh, my front teeth don't touch. You can see I have a very weird bite. Um, and the doctors, you know, back in high school or maybe college or something, but um, they said that they could break my jaw and I had to be like um, wired shut to get it to close the right way and they could kind of do like a surgery but you'd have to have it like wired shut for six months or something and it never really bothered me I think it did maybe in junior high or something um like when I would eat it would get kind of sore but um but yeah I just never got it done so sometimes when I'm talking I kind of sound like I have a speech impediment especially if I'm nervous or I'm excited or talking fast um I kind of sound like I have a lisp or something so so yeah, that's something you don't know. Okay, so the fourth thing would be um, I'm definitely afraid of snakes, which living in Oregon is definitely a good thing about that. We only have like gardener snakes. Um, so uh, so yeah, you don't get to see too many of those. My husband does not like spiders and I do not like snakes. So the deal is that I kill all the spiders and he kills all the snakes, but um, we don't ever see snakes, hardly ever. So like, wait a second, I got kind of the bad end of the deal on that one so but yeah um so that's something else um the fifth thing would be um oh i am debating whether or not to homeschool our kids um i think public school was not the greatest for me it wasn't the worst thing in the world but i don't know i just i like the idea of kind of controlling what they learn and have it be more our faith based and um, I don't know it seems like I was exposed to so much too like I don't know kids aren't the, as sweet and innocent as they used to be or something they're like exposed to so much these days so yeah we're I'm kind of debating whether or not to do homeschool which would be you know 
pretty much a life-changing decision because it takes a lot of time and um, you know I don't have if I even have enough time to keep up with my business and you know all the things that I like to do but um, at the same time I don't want to be selfish and um, I really just want to you know give my kids everything um, to help them in their life so but yeah so that's some things that you guys don't know about me um, and then oh and I want to share um, what I'm wearing and then I'll get into some of my favorite things here um, but I am wearing the um, Dirty Harry bracelet uh, which by the way I'm so sorry that a lot of the things in my shop are sold out I um, I kind of just wanted to recover from the crazy um, Christmas season so I haven't relisted stuff and then I don't have a lot of stuff in stock too so um, but I'm hoping in a week or two I'll have everything um, back in stock um, so yeah and then also I'm wearing um, the Bailey rainbow um, necklace so which I, I have been wearing this necklace it seems like I don't know every day maybe not every day but um, it's just so simple and pretty and uh, I, it just just shows off that one heart so well it's just I love it um, oh and then also oh, besides my jewelry I am wearing um, this ASOS uh, kimono jacket sequin jacket um, they were having like 30% off um, for Black Friday or Cyber Monday, I think it was Cyber Monday, um, so I got it then, and it is like a tiny bit big, but I didn't really want to return it and wait for another size to come back, and I think kimonos are kind of supposed to be big anyways, so, so yeah, but it's just kind of fun and glittery, and, um, and also, so for this video, besides just the five things you don't know about me, um, I wanted to share just some things that I'm really loving right now, um, so I'll go ahead and share those. Um, the first thing that I'm really loving is, of course, the new Naked 3 palette. I asked for this for Christmas, and my sister got it for me, and I really love it. Um, my favorite color is Dust, if you can see it here, uh, right there. And it's kind of like a pink color, and I love, they're all kind of like pinky and purpley, and um, it's really pretty. Uh, but I'm really into pinks on my face right now. Um, I think my skin tone complements. It's kind of have like a more pink pigment to it. So I think um, I have it on my eyes right now. You can kind of see it. Um, I think it just complements like my skin tone to have more pinks on me. Um, so I'm really into like pink eyeshadow, pink lipstick, you know, pink blush, and um, it's just kind of fun. Um, it's kind of refreshing in the winter time for me. So. Um, which is kind of funny because I think sometimes in the summertime I usually kind of like to go dark so maybe the contrast or something with that but yeah I like to do that um, so speaking of pinks for my lips I've really um, I got this in my stockings but they're the um, baby lips um, doctor rescue you know they kind of have like a menthol um, feel and smell to them but they're really really good because my lips get um, dried out this time of year really bad so, um, so these work wonders. I got um, two different colors. It's um, a pink me up, so it's kind of a pink, and then this one is coral crave. So you can kind of see the difference there. And I really like the coral color because it's not like screams color or uh, screams coral when you wear it. Because sometimes I'm kind of scared of coral lipstick. Just um, I don't know. It's kind of crazy and out there for me. Um, but this is like a very subtle, soft, cute coral. So, um, and then I Instagrammed that I finally ha got like my first MAC lipsticks, uh, which is crazy because I love makeup. I don't know why. I, maybe I've had a long time ago, but I don't know. Um, I don't think so. I think I've gotten, you know, like eyeshadow and eyeliner and, um, brushes from them and just different stuff like that but I've never gotten lipstick um, but my favorite is Saint Germain which you guys um, everyone probably knows about it but um, that's what I'm wearing today and I really love it um, I don't know I feel like a cross between Barbie and um, Lil' Kim or <laughs> yeah and then uh, what I have been putting over the top of it is like this um, clear gloss, which it looks pink, from um, Calvin Klein. 
because it looks pink because I've um, they didn't wipe off the lipstick before I um, put it back in there, so it got pink on it. But um, I really like it. Um, something about gloss, I think, just makes your lips look more full and um, just pretty. So especially if you have more of a matte face, I think it's kind of fun just to add like a little bit of shine to your lips. Um, and then I have been feeling super pasty pale um, as we don't really have, you know, don't get sunshine this time of year in Oregon. It's very cloudy. Um, so I got the Riri uh, Hearts Mac uh, bronzer and um, I've been kind of using it more for contouring, like putting it underneath my cheeks and then just like kind of the outside of my face and then kind of blending it in my neck um, just to add like a little bit of color and then use like a highlighter on my nose and under my eyes and under my um, nose and then uh, up here just a little bit and then on my chin. So just to kind of um, give it a little bit, which now my chest looks kind of pale too, but um, I don't know. My version of getting a little bit of color for this time of year just because I feel so washed out and I got my hair um, lightened to a, more of a platinum blonde, so I think it makes me feel more washed out too if you don't have any color on your face. So um, so yeah, it's been kind of nice having a little bit of a bronzer because I, I haven't used one in a long time. Um, and then also some products that I'm really liking right now for my uh, skin. Whoops, my thing just froze. Okay. Um, for my skin and for my hair. Um, so I have been using Hope in a Jar by Philosophy. Um, this is the night cream. And then, you know, I got like the two pack for the day cream and the night cream. And I had like a big bottle before of the day cream or lotion, whatever it is. Um, but it, I don't know, it wasn't doing like wonders for my skin. And it kind of has like a uh, different kind of smell to it than, I don't know what it, how to describe how it smells like. But it just doesn't smell that the greatest. Um, but I recently picked up this Corez um, from Sephora and it smells like roses, which I don't really think of myself as a huge rose person, but I don't know. The lady um, at Sephora recommended it to me and it was very affordable and um, I liked it so far, so we'll see how it goes. Um, what I do want to get for, um, for when I get really dry my mom lent me this cream called Epion's um, Medical Barrier, and I've been using it for Stella, my three-month-old, because she's been getting eczema. Um, she has so many rolls. She's so chunky. She gets, um, she has like all these little rolls, and in all the creases, she's been getting, um, it's like dry and cracky and red, like eczema, and then she kind of gets like spots different places. Um, so I've been putting that on her. Oh, and she gets like really rough, like on the outside of her face and her forehead. Um, so I've been putting that on her skin and it, it seriously worked wonders. So, um, she just gave me like a couple little sample bottles, um, from the lady that she gets it from, but I really want to get, um, a big bottle for myself and for Stella, um, just because, uh, it really, really works. So I'm going to try it just to see because I get kind of dry, like right here and on my, the bridge of my nose. Um, for some reason I get dry right there. Um. So yeah, I'd really like to try it, um, and just for like, not every day, because I think she said it's quite expensive, but um, just for like, okay, I'm getting really dry, so I need to put a little extra on, and um, hopefully that'll help. So, oh, and then I just wanted to show you a couple things, and I can't remember the name of this Etsy shop, um, but I saw some things like this on a more expensive shop. They were like, um, I don't know, like 50 bucks or something, or 40 um, but they're iPhone cases, and I have an iPad case too. Um, but they're just, you know, they look like a Chanel wallet. But So you open it up, and then there's your phone, and then you can put your cards here, your business cards or whatever. And I just think it's so cute. It looks like a little Chanel wallet, but it's an iPhone case. Um, but yeah, I found this on Etsy, and I think it was like $19 or $20 or something. Um, but it's just so cute, and it's light pink, and yeah. And then, um, the you know, like the case itself that the phone fits into kind of covers up um, the iPhone, so not cute. I also got um, the looks like the boy bags from Chanel, but it's um, an iPhone case, and it's super cute. 
it has like the little Chanel um, emblem and um, but yeah you can like put it over your shoulder um, and look like a purse but it um, yeah an iPhone case so you just put your iPhone right in there but I said that's so genius especially you know just to have like your hands free because a lot of times I'll just want to like run into a store um, with the kids the baby on my hip or something and I can just throw it over and um, it's easy to get to because a lot of times you're like digging through your purse to try to find your phone um, so it's just really really nice and um, uh, just easy um, and then this is the um, iPad case so it's really cute it's quilted white um, so yeah I might not use this all the time just because it is white I'm scared that it'll get uh, dirty quick but this will be just kind of like I'll switch it out and I'll just use it every once in a while um, but yeah oh and for my hair two last things uh, share really quick um, so whenever Ulta has their 20% um, off coupon I go and I get the big bottles of shampoo and conditioner um, just because uh, it's a good deal there so um, then it lasts forever and it, it's just a better price um, but this time when they had the coupon I got um, Kenra Platinum Silkening Gloss Polish and Shine um, for your hair and I really like it I think it, it smells so good and um, yeah it smells like candy or something but um, it's it's a really pretty bottle too I always like um, pretty bottles <laughs> sometimes I'll get stuff uh, just because the bottle is cute and then um, when it actually does what it says it will do then it's just like an added bonus so um, but yeah I really like it and I think it does like add like extra shine to my hair too it just kind of polishes that off and gives it that um, like finishing touch to it but you put it on there you know before you curl it or um, flat iron it um, so it says it's like actually heat activated so it's good to do something like that to it um, and then I also ordered this from Urban Outfitters. It's called Cake Satin Sugar Sweet uh, Best Free Volumizing Dry Shampoo Spray. Um, and I am such a big fan of dry shampoo, especially for blonde hair. Um, well, like if it's a white powder, especially for blonde hair, um, just because it makes it look more blonde and kind of like, I don't know, freshens up your color a little bit. And then um, adds lots of volume. So that's nice for not washing your hair every day. Um, yeah, it just makes your uh, hair last longer and yeah, who doesn't like that? Or like after I work out too, so um, it's kind of nice just like freshen it up if you get sweaty or whatever at all, um, so you don't have to totally wash your hair and start all over again. But um, I think that's it for this video. Hopefully I'll be able to film a video here soon again. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you next time. Bye.